the very important thing guys if you are going to run two pallet on this machine you must be very very careful this button should be always on or else if this one is not on you might crash your machine schedule your program when you are running two pallets on the machine because this machine guys is the NHP 8000 horizontal milling so I have two pallets pallet number one and pallet number two so if I have my operation number one is on the pallet number one and my operation number two is on my pallet number two I am going to show you guys how are you going to do it on your machine I have two program guys that I am going to use as my example since my machine is running so I will just use the background edit so I have this pallet number one is program number eight pallet number two is program number nine so guys this program guys is just a warm-up it doesn't do anything just to show you how are you going to schedule your program or how are you going to call your next pallet at the end of program I have M62 so M62 guys is calling pallet number 2 and M98 P09 which is my other program instead of M30 I put M99 so that it will just keep on repeating I am going to open the other program which is program number 9 open we don't need this um, warm-up program I will just show you how I am going to call pallet number one so M61 calling pallet number one and after that one I have M98P08 which is I am going to call my other program the program number 8 and the same as well I have M99 so that it will just keep on calling the other program it doesn't stop the most important part guys is I'm going to show you how you are going to schedule this program number 8 and program number 9 on the machine on your main monitor you have this pallet sign press this one once you press that pallet symbol it will come up to APC setting screen setup so if you want to auto run so you are going to schedule your pallet if you can see pallet number one so I'm going to change this one to 8 press 8 that 8 and input so it changed to 8 to move to pallet number 2 use this cursor pallet number 2 is highlighted so I will press 9 and input so it will change to 9 right then you can close it just press the program the very important thing guys if you are going to run two pallet on this machine you must be very very careful this button should be always on or else if this one is not on you might crash your machine but the machine is smart enough if if this button is on and the program activated on the monitor is different from the schedule pallet it, it will not work it, the machine is not going to start that's why if you are running two pallets make make sure this button is on so now I will show you what is this button this button guys is very important if you are running two pallets 
At the moment guys, my my palette on the machine is palette number 1. You can see the program that loaded on the machine is program for palette number 2. Even if I cycle start, so the machine is not going to start. It has an alarm. Let's check the alarm. Program number mismatch. So meaning the program loaded on the machine is different from the palette. So if this one is on, it will not work. But once I switch this one off and I say I can start my machine, the machine is working. If I selected program number 8 and cycle start, this one is still on. So my machine is working now because I, I have program number 8. The machine is moving. So it's working. So guys, that's how you schedule your program so once the the machine is done on the all the operation and the machine read the M62 so the pallet are not going to swap unl unless I press this button so I press the button and now it is going to make a pallet change. If you, can, if you can see guys, the pallet is changing. And again. It is going to, it will continue the operation on pallet number two which is the program number nine if you are running to pallet don't switch this one off if you do say you switch off make sure that the pallet you have make sure the pallet you have inside the machine is going to is going to match on your program if not, you are going to crash your machine 100%. That's why, if that one is pallet number 2, you should activate, you should run program number 9, which is the pallet number 2. Thank you again guys for watching this tutorial video. I hope you like it. And if you do, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel. Big shout out to Gilbert Malabana of AW Fraser shout out to Daniel Dolot big shout out to Efren Manaik of Fraser's New Zealand again guys thank you guys for watching and see you on my next vlog